Secretary Ross announced that a citizenship question would be added to the census in March of 2018. At that time, he told the public and Congress that the Department of Justice requested this change so that it could use census data to help enforce the Voting Rights Act. We are responding solely to the Department of Justice's request, not to any campaign request, not to any other political party. Over the course of this lawsuit, we have found that those statements were just false. When the record was finally released to plaintiffs, it became clear that it was Secretary Ross who led the charge to add the citizenship question to the census, and that he actively pushed the Department of Justice to sign on to the request. We also learned that some of the chief proponents of the administration's anti-immigrant policies, like Steve Bannon and Chris Kobach, were involved in lobbying for the addition of the citizenship question. Chris Kobach's involvement is particularly notable because he served as the vice chairman of President Trump's voter fraud commission. President Trump today ordered the creation of a new commission to investigate the possibility of voter fraud in the last election. He has said repeatedly since then he would have won the popular vote if it weren't for widespread but undetected fraud. And because he has for years falsely claimed that voter fraud is rampant in the United States. About three million people are registered in more than one state. It's no crime to be registered in, in more than one state, but it is a crime if you actually try to vote in two states. And every year, thousands of people do vote in but more than one million, state. But not three million, not millions. And we filed one of several lawsuits challenging Secretary Ross's decision in June of 2018 on behalf of a number of immigrant rights organizations. There's a consensus among demographers and statisticians that adding this question to the census is just not a good idea. Immigrant communities and Latino communities will be undercounted people are just less likely to respond to the census when they're being asked a sensitive question about their immigration status, whether or not they're citizens of the United States. And that undercount will have a huge impact on Latino and immigrant communities. We use census data to determine how many representatives a community will have in Congress and to determine how to distribute federal funding. Public health organizations use census data to plan for disease control and prevention. As Secretary of the Department of Commerce, Ross's job is to make rational decisions based on the information available to him, and to be transparent about the rationale for those decisions. The lawsuits accused Secretary Ross of failing to do just that, of ignoring his own staff when they told him that a citizenship question would reduce the accuracy of the census. And Judge Furman agreed with us. He found that Secretary Ross ignored his staff, cherry-picked evidence to suit his political position, and that his decision had no rational basis. Ross has also come under scrutiny during this litigation because of the misleading and false statements he and his staff have made under oath. Has the president or anyone in the White House discussed with you or anyone on your team uh, about adding this citizenship question? I'm, I'm not aware of any such. There's a lot happening now and we're gonna have to watch it closely. The Department of Justice has appealed this decision and asked the Supreme Court to review the case as quickly as possible. If the Supreme Court were to reverse Judge Furman's decision, it's not clear that the Census Bureau would even have time to add this question to the census in time for 2020. The census is just extremely time sensitive and the Bureau has already said that they need to start printing census questionnaires by June of this year to stay on schedule. So time is running short. In the meantime, Secretary Ross has been asked to testify before Congress again in March of this year, so it's likely that he'll be answering questions about his previous testimony. When the census undercounts communities, those communities are shortchanged across the board. This effort to change the census is part of a broader trend. Since President Trump's inauguration, the administration has taken many actions to promote fear among immigrants and minority communities. All of these attempts to sow fear have lasting impacts. We need to challenge each one. The Department of Justice, as you know, initiated the request for inclusion of the citizenship question.